Hi, this is David Valade with AltaVista Technology. In today's video, we're going to talk about a common challenge for healthcare organizations, and that challenge is all about keeping systems connected. Most healthcare organizations use an EMR or an electronic medical record system to digitally track everything that is related to a patient. One of the largest EMRs is a solution called Epic, but they all want to do the same thing. They want to track every diagnosis, every treatment plan, every procedure, everything around patient care. And those systems do great things, but they're only doing part of their job if their data is totally disconnected. Wouldn't it be great if we could have a dashboard similar to what I'm showing here? If you take a good look at this, I'm showing a combination of financial data and patient data all in one spot, which is really the goal whenever you have multiple systems. We can do that with Sage Intact and a module called EMR Connect. So first, let's take a look at my environment here. So we got a few things going on. I have a few different dashboards here. So I can see here's one for my surgical care dashboard. I have another dashboard over here for um, patient care, long-term care, uh, dental care, behavioral care, whatever my organization needs. And in my environment here, I'm looking down from the top level. So if I hit that little top level area or button here, I can actually see that my environment is made up of many different legal entities. These could be different clinics. There could be different ownership. There could be, uh, maybe I'm in acquisition mode and I'm bringing in other clinics as part of uh, my uh, operations here and I want to see them separately. So I can do that. I can have different organizations like this and all of my dashboards are consolidated so I can look across them. And security always wins, of course, so maybe some people can see certain entities and not others. Within any entity, I can also have multiple locations, so I might have one legal entity that has multiple clinics, even within one company. So it could, could work that way, too. Uh, I do have uh, dashboards here where I'm showing uh, a, a historical date. Uh, in real life, this would be real time. This would be as of today. But I'm just rolling the, the calendar back for more complete data. And one last thing, you can see my name up here. Now, I only bring that up to say that, hey, uh, we track everything in Sage Intact. Sage Intact is not only the only system that's endorsed by the AICPA, but also Sage Intact is HIPAA compliant. That's right. So if we have to track protected health information within our financial systems, then we need that HIPAA compliance, and Sage Intact offers that. Last I checked, might be a little out of date on this, but last I saw the monetary penalty for a single infraction of HIPAA was between $50,000 and $1.5 million. <laughs> we care about that a lot. We got to have that right. And I'm going to show over here, I have a drop down here on my dash or on my uh, main menu here where I have EMR Connect. And I won't go into everything. This is going to be a very simple walkthrough today, but I do want to call out a few things just from looking at the menu. So first you'll see that I have API endpoints that I can define. And what that means to us is that I can actually do a full no-touch integration between the API that Sage Intact offers and other EMR systems. So I can have information passing back and forth automatically where nothing goes to a file and it's all happening with one API talking to another. I also have uh, schedules, so I can have this run automatically, and I have file types. So some types of EMR, they don't offer an API because they're very protective, understandably, of their information. So they force a file transfer. So they could push a file out to an SFTP folder, or I could download a file securely, and I could transfer it into Intact that way. And uh, as schedules, if I didn't mention that already, I can have that automated even still, even with a file. Right. And then field mappings and value transformations, I only want to point out with these is that sometimes we want to take information that exists in our EMR and use that as a jumping off point to map to other values within Sage Intact. And they don't have to be the same. I don't have to set up employees that match my physicians in a certain way. I mean, I could have I can have whatever mapping that makes sense to go from old to new. Now, I made a file, and don't laugh at me for my file, but this is a simple file that I thought I could show that would be something that maybe could be passed from my EMR system to be brought in. Now, this is the low-tech version of what I can offer. I'm only showing this because uh, it's easier to demo here, but let's take a look at this file. If I saw this file, there's a few things that the accountant in me is getting a little nervous about. I see a posting date, and this is one export, but I see multiple dates. So 
Thankfully, these are all within the same period in this example, but what if they weren't? What would the system do with that? I can see there's a reference number that, gosh, I wish I could keep that uh, in my accounting system so I could be able to look back between them and I can understand what's going on. I put something called old account number here and I just made up account numbers. These are not the account numbers in my Sage Intact system, but I'm using these as a cross-reference to get to the right account numbers. And I made up some dollar amounts and some information and companies. And you, you can see just a smattering of uh, different bits of data. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to run this. I'm going to go into my new batch area of my EMR Connect. And again, doing the low-tech version, I'm going to use a file. And I'm just going to pull this in as a transaction. These can all be mapped. They can all be whatever we want. And I'm picking my manual option. I would have as many options on these drop downs as makes sense to me. But this is, uh, again, just for demo purposes. This will make sense. And I say next, and then the system lets me or prompts me to pick my file. So I'm just going to drag that file in that I just showed a moment ago, like so. And the system's ready to go. And I could pull in more than one file. That sounds right there. And I'm going to hit process. See the system going to work, processing the values. It understands that there's four different types in my system. Interesting, that's how I mapped it, so it's handling that. And it's completed the job. I'll linger on the screen for a moment. I can see that four objects were processed, they came in successfully, there were no errors, and four journal entries were created in my example. I can go back to the source information if I wanted to see that, and I can see a record of everything that was brought in. So if I compare that to that uh, financial file that I had, I'll drag that back on the screen, and I can see what's happened is for every one of these dates and for every one of these reference numbers, I have a different transaction that has come in and everything worked out just fine. These logs are always maintained, so I can always go back and look to see what was brought in historically. Again, we have good audit trail code, so I know who did what when. And I could even use this as a place to jump in and I could click that top one, just to pick an example. I could see that this was brought into my Epic journal and this uh, has a reference number, who brought it in, date timestamps, all the rest. And I could see the accounting for this one entry. It's a simple entry, I grant you, but this was just to make the point. I could see uh, we're using a thing I call uh, dimensions. So I can see different departments, locations, and even the payor for this transaction and dollar amounts and everything. These could be approved if I needed them to be approved, but off I go. Very simple example, but hopefully this gets your imagination going on how we can connect different electronic medical record systems with Sage Intact to get a true consolidated picture of how our organization is running. If you'd like to see more, please give us a shout at altavistatech.com and I look forward to hearing from you.